What is the difference between transactions and safe changes in Entity Framework Core? We know that with safe changes, we can group several operations as a unit and send them to the database. This means that either all of them succeed or none of them do. This is known as an atomic operation. This means that implicitly, safe changes uses transactions. We can achieve something similar with begin transaction async. We can define an atomic operation. The difference is that begin transaction async allows us to include in the atomic operation operations that are not from the database. Let's see an example of this. Suppose we have a record that we want to delete from a table, but also one of the fields is a URL that corresponds to a picture. We also want to delete the picture, but we only want to delete the picture if the deletion of the record was successful. Therefore, either both operations succeed or none of them do. Therefore, we cannot use for these safe changes. We have to use begin transaction async. Let's see. As you can see here, we are explicitly defining the transaction. Then we are deleting the person. And if the operation is successful, then we are deleting the image. And finally, if both operations are successful, we are saying commit async. If there is an error, then in the catch, we are going to say rollback to roll back the changes. In this way, the operation is atomic. Follow me for more Donut content.